Hello and welcome back to another episode of Rogue Trader Warhammer 40k. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the unfair blind playthrough on actually more than unfair difficulty. I decided to do a little switcherino and got our uh, Idiria out uh, and uh, replaced her with uh, the faithful Incendia just to see for one um, specific mission or for one battle to see how she really fares. I don't think that she will be a great addition to our team mainly because she's not um, really the strongest character to uh, to be entirely honest but we will give it a try nonetheless with the two uh, totally amped up characters it'll be very hard for her to hit anything so she might suffer the same problems as um, Jay did but Jay on the other hand has the advantage that she effectively um, uh, can uh, still rely on her officer abilities and that incendia cannot do that okay enough wobbling around that i wanted to give uh, marasai also a chance uh, to hunt down some prey that was another motivation and i think we're good let's give it a go okay that whole palace here reeks a lot um, like uh, mm, like an ancient tomb. And it very, very, very Let's much seize the opportunity. Does have uh, the architecture, uh, the, the greenness. One and it's done. And all of uh, the problems Embrace that Necrons typically power. bring with them. Hmm. The bloody streak seems uh, even more grim in the green sustenance glow. Yeah, this is a ne Necron tomb, if I've ever seen one. Can't be much clearer than that. Powers unseen uncover my path. Too hard for a the signs of the Xeno symbols is repulsive, but your will is strong. Status beginning the transmission of data, and I couldn't see any more. Rotting corpse was slumped over Kogiator. What force could have thrown him up there? Because their soldiers are dead, something unspeakable has mutilated their bodies and dumped them um, there. Monstrous structure looms from uh, majestic over you. The obelisk uh, seems threatening. Also interesting, so that you might the want to study it. I don't know if feet. we want to study anything here. Several disfigured corpses in the uniforms of the Inquisition soldier have been tossed over the grotesque pile between the Cogiator and the large obelisk-like statue. Their killers left no trace, but you have the nagging, oppressive feeling that the very walls are watching you. Careful, rogue trader. The ogre are adept at springing traps. Linguistic analysis awaiting data catalog. Let's use uh, some tech to see what's happening here. You've uh, never seen cryptographic machines as intricate and unorthodox as these ones. Num uh, numerous sacred seals and algorithmic asceticisms uh, suggest uh, that the spirit dwelling within this exceptionally cunning and powerful privy to f uh, forbidden knowledge. Try to extract data. The mechanism, having served the Inquisition so faithfully, is aloft to, to part with its secret. One after another, menacing scarlet dots light up on the casting. Your ruthless intrusion into the Cogiator's memory chambers yield the following message. Prepare for the start of Operation Precious Sentinel. The hor horrific vision event may come to pass. Order aboard the research mission and join the contingent on Epitaph. Codes traversing the minefield are attached. The message has attached a containment of astronomical coordinates of a planet, along with some binaric code. Priority zero, uh, contact with barrier squadron lost during dimensional gate recharging. No confirmation received of the gate being sealed. Stay on high alert. Cogator shrieks indigenently, lighting up with blinding red indicators, letting out a high frequency howl. The word appears across the entire width of the vid screen intrusion when it ring is uh, the ringing in your ears subdues you realize you hear something else someone's heavy footsteps the vindicative machine spirit triumphantly displays a blinking prophecy message 
All right, have we awoken the Necron? Have we awoken the Necron? Come on, let me know if my game senses are correct. What could potentially be in a Necron temple? There we go, I knew it. Necrons are nasty in Warhammer 40k. Not only are they the owners um, of the orcs, so to speak, as uh, the orcs have been used in their war against uh, the creator race uh, that the Necrons defeated, but also uh, they do have a death protocol, or whatever it was uh, called, where essentially before they die, um, they... Uh, uh, or when they die, they have a re revival protocol. That's what it was called, revival protocol. Uh, when they die, they do have a chance to reanimate. Let's see. Yeah, reanimation protocol. I knew it. When the creature wounds drop to zero, it it falls prone, gains 30% of maximum wounds. <clears throat> Next turn, <coughs> creature reanimates uh, with 50% of wounds. So we need to kill it. What do these uh, things do? Oh, healing. Na na na. Yeah, little healing scarabs. And what do these things do? 2,100 hit points, lots of dodge, and holy moly, a lot of armor. Uh, all attacks against the enemy in the two cell radius gain 100% critical hit chance. All affected enemies also become priority targets of the Locust Destroyer. Uh, reanimation protocol, living metal. Oh, this guy uh, gets more hit points at the beginning. Well, that's unfortunate. All attacks, creature deal additional shock damage. All attacks against uh, enemies in two cell radius are always crits. All effects become pri um, all enemies become priority targets, and 95% reduction <coughs> of damage except from the side, uh, except from the back. Okay. Well, maybe the wrong fight uh, to uh, to choose some uh, some team that's just going to uh, the B team that's going to test whether or not we are strong enough. Good, this side here we'll try to snipe down, and the left hand side we we will try to just. Uh, rush down and uh, bum rush with uh, our entire team. Let's start the battle. The very idea. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? I think earlier than the others. We'll have a problem keeping up. Luckily, we got Saiken here with us. I need no guidance. There is no mercy found in my heart. Earlier we'll go and we're take, uh, we are going to take uh, that right hand side here. I understand your intent. This tedium is beneath me. Okay, well, you will pray number one. Xenos pet monkey. <sighs> if I must. And we're going to place a couple of traps. I think one I uh, straight up here is a good idea. Get this Necron. What are we looking at? Uh, good hit. Very good hit. This tedium is beneath me. Two. I am not your Xenos ancestors. Three. Guide me. If it Four. Your Almost got him down. But no he will not fall that easy. Sight. There is still the stupid revival protocol. If I'm ancestors guide me. 
This should give us two AP. Yep, thanks to the kill. Uh, thanks to claim the bounty. If it serves your cause. I understand your intent. Good, that's another kill. I'll deal death with my hands. That is beneath me. If it serves your cause. Great hit. Did we hit more than one? Yeah, fantastic. That's penetrating. Even better. I am not your Xenos pet, Monkey. Even better. If it serves your cause. I will. Elliot gets a couple more turns. Very good. So, to me, one side is severely weakened now and just awaits the right moment for us to reap the benefits of what we've done. Good. We, we shouldn't scatter too much, not yet. That will crush the heathens. This is always un... That always seems to lose its order. I don't know why. So, a little bit of this and that and this and that. Okay, well, we could move up, but I think that would be a mistake, to be entirely frank. I think instead what we should do is a little bit of that. And so shall it be done. Rejoice in service. And we're good. Leave it as is. I know what Move I to here. Doing, usually. Buff our friends. Uh, buff ourselves. And right this sense. should be a good hit. Good, fantastic. Let's try this here. Don't get too cocky. Tell me, and it is done. I can do that with the right instrument. Uh, we overloaded the plasma, that wasn't necessary. Everybody is healed. Amidst the We're moving up. I find purpose. Uh, we got Jay here. Jay definitely could benefit from Ruin a couple of Beckham. buffs. And this here is a thousand four hundred points of damage. Let's say in an insta kill for both. Fantastic. Good job, Saiken. Oh, come on. 
They are alpha striking against us. I don't like it. We should be the ones alpha striking them and not the other way around. No weakness is hidden from my sight. Good. Well, that's fantastic. We're getting... Oh no. Forgot the revival protocol. Mm, my bad. If it serves your cause. Another trap there. <sighs> if I must. Bit of this and Okay, we're ready. <sighs> Marasai. That's not good. healing and he needs healing soon giving him a little bit uh, just for full transparency yeah Jake would get an extra turn I like that uh, we're giving ourselves extra damage 1500 seems fine to me 1,700 seems even better. The death mark. Necron death mark. That's, that guy is a problem. Jay needs to get another uh, turn. Can we shoot this guy? Potentially. Okay, we can. Which means reposition over here. If it serves your cause. Claim our bounty. The I want that Necron dead. Serves your cause. Now we're not uh, wasting actions for anything other than taking shots here. This guy needs to go down. I understand your intent. Sniper is super strong. If it serves your cause. Tedium is beneath me. Good job Elliot. I am not your Zeus. If I must. Okay, almost got him. A moving target. Jay moves up. Uh, we can reload, which we potentially should. Don't get too cocky. Uh, these things are off limits for now. Uh, I think we're just okay. Alright. Used all of uh, the good momentum juice. Marazai. I don't want to needlessly charge in. Or rather... Uh, 
charging over here. That's more like it. Fantastic. Open. And... Beautiful. Beautiful. I understand your intent. We're using this to reload. Fantastic opportunity. Marazai makes himself elusive. No. And doesn't have a ranged weapon, so can't really do much. Waits uh, to be healed. Speaking of oh, which, Jay heals see. herself. And you know who hasn't really acted at all? Exactly. Am I getting paid for this? Tell me and it is done. Therefore, Abelard gets a full turn. Charges to there. Screams and haunts that thing. I will do my duty. And uh, stands seemingly completely unaffected uh, over there. Oh no, how could she kill herself? She still had full hit points. Oh man, I hate plasma weapons from time to time, specifically since the game isn't really explaining it very well. Let my enemies tremble at the sound of my steps. Actions will speak louder than words. I can only imagine that was a stupid idea. Into cover. Okay, well, thirty eight percent isn't a great hit, but everything else would be far too dangerous, so we're not doing it. Good, we're buffing others and, and so shall it be done. move to here. Hopefully this will, will get the done. attention of both of them. At your Good hit. Indeed. That. Victory is that. This. At your back and call. I will do my duty. a lot of shots luckily none of them were dealing that much damage I can only imagine if we ha wouldn't have had our defenses up I am not your Xenos pet monkey if it serves your cause ancestors guide me no weakness is Elliot takes this out that thing Tygon moves up. Okay, Cordia. This is beyond me. I can't allow myself to do this. Charge is over. We need to get behind these things. 
My enemies shall be crushed like dust beneath my feet. The Emperor commands. Yep, there we go. Finally behind. Actions will speak louder than words. Rejoice in some... Very good. Uh, start with that. I cannot comply. And so shall it be done. Do a little bit of this. Still can't hit any of them, but we can uh, use this. One, two. That's okay. I mean, look. All things considered, that was actually fantastic. Uh, Saiken needs to move up. Good. Marazar. With grace and lemons. Charges in all directions, but I want to make sure that we're not too close to them. Good time to put the 40% uh, dodge in. And hope that we're going to be okay. And so shall it be done. Rejoice in service. Fantastic, she's doing good damage. Unfortunately, I forgot to use her buffs. Charging in. Uh, that's unfortunately not successful. Um, taunting. And we could use Heroic Act, which I think we're just going to do. Might as well. Daring Breach. Uh, we're not hitting well enough. Well, I just have too much hit point, uh, too much AC. Destroy and kill them? Yes, nice. I understand your intent. If it serves your Good, course. reloading, we can't see any of them. We need to get there. I am not your Zeus pet. Nope, nope, can't uh, go, uh, can't do any of that. Marazai gets this and that and this. Armor ignore. 
and a bit of that and a turn which I hope will be enough for him to deal some serious damage but hope soon realizes uh, that that is likely not going to happen it is I'm not a vessel for pain. I am its master. Well, maybe I was wrong. Uh, maybe I was wrong. Don't distress me. Build. Opening that thing. With grace of manners. Fabulous hit. Excellent hits. Okay. Um, there we go. With all of the buffs, he did it. He got one of them down. Well done, Marzai. Dash, dash, and are we good? Yes, we are. Slash through him, okay, never mind. Victory is imminent. I move as if unseen. Can't hit, right? New, unfortunately not. Um, if I must stop trying, monkey. Can we get AP and uh, um, movement points? Yes, we can. I move swiftly to strike. Very good. I understand. So this will intent. improve damage for everyone. One hit. If it serves your call. Another one. My heart sings with the thrill of battle. Great hit. Uh, he should be majorly debuffed. Perception minus thirty-five. Yep, there we go. Disarm. That's a good one. I will triumph. Nine thousand six hundred. <laughs> okay, well that is crazy. I've never seen nine thousand points of damage. Let's uh, let alone nine thousand six hundred. Wow. Okay, tough battle. Do you see? Don't waste my time. I don't know why. We unfortunately um, had that problem with um, with uh, the um, 
charged melter of charged plasma wasn't saying anything that's really unfortunate Good. My impression of um, Incendia is she's better than expected, but takes a while to get going. Her abilities, once she gets going, are fine, and she deals like her pistol dealt an okay amount of uh, damage. You simply cannot uh, deny that that worked very well, but at the same time. I don't know. She's look no further. She's potentially not as uh, strong as one would like. Bow. And this seemed to be a very very hard fight compared to the others that we had. Embrace true power. Fortunately, all of the Necrons apparently disappear without le uh, leaving any uh, loot whatsoever. But we had a new Uncharted star system as a reward. Good, and this group in particular, I noticed that once uh, the Peril of Warp was uh, very high, there wasn't much uh, that uh, I could do with uh, Saiken, so I think one of uh, the one of the challenges with uh, Idira, the second cycle, there is we're just running way too hot uh, with the spells that I'm slinging. Saiken himself is already filling it up relatively well, and um, it typically takes Cassia in order to get it down to a reasonable level. That is how it works in in the other group. In the second group, uh, there is unfortunately mainly room for one Psyker if Psyken is continuing to spam spells like that. The spells are super helpful so there is actually no reason not to do it. Um, so for longer battles um, maybe Incentia can replace Iridia. I don't know. We're going to see. That's it uh, for uh, today's episode. We got half an hour good fight in and uh, we're going to explore the Coronas expands the next time when we're returning back to Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Thanks a lot for watching, have a good one, and see you all. Bye-bye. Of course, I cannot end an episode when we're just being attacked as we're uh, getting off the planet. Unknown sickle ships have awoken and attack us, uh, which we already know are Necron ships, and I won't let uh, that just Our stand there. Okay. Carl class frigate. Cool. Let's start with a few torpedoes. Send their souls to the void. Unleash torment. And let's furthermore. Teach that frigate uh, that we uh, mean serious business. Let the Empyrean guide us. Let destruction pour forth. Oh, I see how it is. It plays on our path. Micro cannons annihilate them. So they do have. The start of the turn, the ship suffers damage equal to maximum hull. Living metal, start of the turn, ship repairs. Okay, but somehow this thing here. Managed to just revive the ship. I don't like it.
Okay, so one down. Time for the Unforgiven to continue its journey and to uh, kill that Jakal Frigate again. Torpedoes now. Unleash our wrath upon my enemies. Let the Empyrean guide us. Macro cannons annihilate them. Look at you your little trick. Well, I already know about it, so I'm not surprised. And to be honest, their revival protocol isn't that uh, bad. But ships, ships are dealing uh, very low amounts of damage compared to the other um, vessels that we have seen so far. good I think we haven't even taken damage on that one but I wanted to showcase uh, the Necron fight nonetheless we got a nice little space fight what all those things they took off uh, the surface when you landed I've never seen ships like that never seen such technology either uh, your lordship the K uh, car to artifacts claims to have found uh, the mentioned um, Xeno similar to the ones that we've encountered the manuscript refers to them as Necrons The NGCers are at a loss uh, for uh, the weapon that we have acquired. Um, they say it's a gift born from the Messiah's wisdom, but the image was imperfect. The ship's minor conclave has gone into data emanation uh, to produce resolutions regarding the assembly and using the item. Okay. Now we're closing uh, the session for today and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.